Hello again, I'm Steven with futurelooks.com and today we'll be looking at an easy drop-in performance upgrade for new Sandy Bridge notebooks like this one here. Known as Kingston's HyperX Plug and Play or PMP for short, these DDR3 sodiums are specially programmed to run at up to 1866 megahertz without messing with any BIOS settings or installing any software utilities in the operating system. You basically just plug and play. The Kingston HyperX PMPs are fashioned with an attractive gray heatsink that looks very similar to their HyperX Genesis desktop memory modules. Built for systems based on Intel's Huron River Notebook platform, which supports Sandy Bridge Core i7 and Core i5 processors, these modules provide a memory speed increase to any system running an HM65, HM67, or QM67 notebook chipset. The Kingston PMP kits come in both 4GB and 8GB dual channel configurations in both 1600MHz and 1866MHz varieties. They're also backed by Kingston's lifetime warranty and 24-7 tech support. That means that even though these memory modules are overclocked and above spec, Kingston guarantees that they'll work properly in your new Sandy Bridge notebook at the advertised speeds. While many performance notebooks use a discrete video card, just like our NP8130 Sager here, many of the new notebooks based on Sandy Bridge rely heavily on the graphics chip embedded inside the Core i5 or i7 processor, just like this IBM or rather Lenovo T420S notebook right here. Because we noticed in the past that many systems with discrete GPUs receive little to no benefit by overclocking the memory, we wanted to see what effect the HyperX PMPs would have on Intel's integrated graphics. Using our Lenovo T420S notebook with Core i5 processor and QM67 chipset inside, we set it up in three different configurations to test. We tested it with a single 4GB module running at 1333 MHz in single channel mode, then two 4 gigabyte modules running at 1333 MHz in dual channel mode, and finally the 8 gigabyte HyperX PMP kit running at 1866 MHz in dual channel mode. All tests were run at a resolution of 1280 by 720 at default benchmark settings. Starting with Cinebench 11.5, which measures rendering performance on the system, we see that the scores for a single channel module were 8.57 frames per second in the OpenGL test and 2.87 points for the CPU test respectively. Moving to the dual channel setup, we see the frame rate increase to 10.87 frames per second and the CPU scores goes to 2.88 points. We see another increase with the HyperX PMP kit coming up with 11.7 frames per second and 2.9 points for CPU. Moving on, PC Mark 7 is a brand new productivity benchmark that measures the overall performance of your system running daily tasks like web surfing, office applications, and video playback performance, etc. The test results showed a single channel configuration putting down 2152 points. Going to dual channel, we get 2275 points. But upgrading the HyperX PMP, that gives you another 43 points for a total of 2,318 points. Now let's check out real world gaming performance. Starting off our game benchmarks with Street Fighter 4, the single channel setup gave us a score of 14 frames per second. However, upgrading to a dual channel setup, we now get 20.86 frames per second. Moving up to the HyperX plug and play kit, we now get 22.35 frames per second. Since Sandy Bridge only supports up to DirectX 10, and since we've already looked at DirectX 9 performance in Street Fighter 4, we took the disguise with Hawks. In single channel, we achieved an average frame rate of 12 frames per second. In a dual channel configuration, we can see that frame rates increased to 17 frames per second. Moving to the HyperX plug and play kit, we get yet another increase to 19 frames per second. So to quickly sum things up for you folks, Kingston's HyperX PMP kit is definitely no lie when it comes to being a drop-in performance increase for your Sandy Bridge notebook. The kit was easy to install, required no software or BIOS manipulation, and proved that in benchmarks it was definitely the leader in performance. This was especially true when it came to graphics and games. The only thing 
that you have to wrestle with is of course the price of these modules. At $148.99 for the HyperX Plug and Play 8GB 1866MHz kit versus $73.99 US for a standard Kingston 1333MHz 8GB kit, you really have to consider whether the best possible performance is worth the price. But it's clear that Kingston delivers on the performance promise, especially when it comes to plug and play performance. Overall, I'm rating these modules a 9 out of 10, and they get our FutureLooks High Performance Award for being top performers. For more videos on the computer and tech stuff that you care about, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and rate our videos. I'm Stephen with FutureLooks.com, and thanks again for watching. We'll see you again.